What's going on everyone? Alex Prime here and today we're taking a look at the Red Dragon Kimura mechanical keyboard. This is the RGB variant. So we'll kind of just take a look at it, see how it goes. And I'll show you some of the lighting modes you can do with it as well. So it says here, high speed, high control, high response. What do we got here? Full without conflict, 12 multimedia keys, gold plated and has a windows lock. Up here, just the Red Dragon logo. On the back, we have some information. It says, high quality LED mechanical gaming keyboard, high precision machinery manufacturer, double injection key, keycaps, full key conflict free, spill proof, win key can be disabled in gaming. So that's pretty cool. And just another picture of the keyboard. Inside the box, not too much stuff. You have this thing which takes the keys off. You just put it on there, pull it out. And we have our manual. Uh, this is pretty useful because it tells you the buttons for the shortcuts uh, to change the lighting effects. So you might want to look through that as well. Something you actually need uh, the manual for for once, which is cool. So here's the keyboard. Right now I have it on the breathing effect. Uh, which I like. I like it with red and breathing, but there are a lot of different modes. I'll kind of go through some of them here with you. So you hold down the function key, then you press the any one of these ones and they start changing the mode. So for example, press this one and it should change. Yeah, so it changes the direction that it moves. And then if you press, uh, keep holding function and press the arrow key, it will change the color. I have yellow, green, blue, uh, a darker blue, purple, which is a really nice purple, and uh, pink, and green, or this one's the rainbow one, but uh, I kind of like red. You can change the brightness level too by pressing up and down will make it less bright. And then let's try some other ones here. So we have the rainbow effect. Crazy colors and uh, one color for each row if, you, if you're into that kind of stuff. There's a lot of options here. Right, this kind of effect. There's a whole bunch. I'm sure you'll find one that you like. Uh, as far as the keys go, they have very nice feel to them. Enter button's good. Now let's let you hear the clicks. Great sounding. And uh, of course on the bottom we have the stands. If you want to put the kickstand up, not a problem. Cable is not detachable. It is a built-in cable, so keep that in mind. Well, that's about it guys. It's a pretty simple keyboard. It's pretty cheap, especially for mechanical and uh, from a good brand, Red Dragon. You see there. I've had no issues with their products. I got their mouse. I just ordered a new mouse, a new version of this, so I'll be showing you guys that one. I think it comes tomorrow or maybe the day after, I'm not sure. But yeah, that's the uh, Red Dragon Kimura. Uh, it's a really good keyboard. If you're looking for a mechanical, you don't want to spend $100, $150. This was, I got it on sale for $30 in Canada, so for you guys, it should be that price normally, so check it out. Good brand. Okay, so I'm going to take off one of the keycaps. I think you guys might want to see that. So of course you have your little tool that it comes with. So I'm going to try this with one hand while holding the camera so this might not go so great. So let's go ahead and try that. Okay, well that worked all right. So keycap it comes off. So they are like replica Cherry MX Blue switches. So you can use other keycaps if you want a different style. I've ordered some retro style ones where these will actually look like uh, circles as opposed to squares so uh, I'm not sure when those are coming in but I'm looking forward to doing that so if you have other keycaps they should just fit shouldn't be an issue and they are like replicas again of the blue switches so they're pretty loud but uh, they feel good they have nice responsiveness and they're super tactile as they should be let's go ahead and put the G back and that just goes push that down there it goes right back into place so yeah not too hard 
And yeah, make sure you don't lose this, otherwise it can be a pain to take these off, I would imagine. But there you go. And I'm Alex Prime, and I hope you had a great time. Bye. Oh,